Hello and welcome to Sound Insight. I've been asked how to do time stretching and pitch shifting inside of Cubase. So I got a vocal sample. Oh, my passion! It's in the right tempo, 120 BPM. Oh, my passion! And when I click the part, I can see the info line. When you don't see the info line, you got to activate it. And now you can transpose it. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! Oh my passion! You can choose between different algorithms. Oh my passion! 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 This effect has been online. Now I'll show you an offline process. I go to audio. Processes and pitch shift. Don't be surprised because of uh, this Windows. I use the Nuendo version 8, and in here we got the direct offline processing, but you got the same plugin as I use in here. And now I say transpose minus 6. Choose the algorithm. That's it. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! Till now I've activated the time correction. So let's deactivate it. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! So you can see when I go down the pitch, the file is getting longer and longer as a normal tape machine. Another great possibility is the envelope inside the pitch shift effect. Oh, my passion! The next possibility for monophonic files is very audio. So I use the sample editor, go to very audio, activate pitch and warp. Now I can say select all. And I can move them with the arrow keys. How oh, my passion! How oh, my how oh, my passion! How oh, my passion! How oh, my passion! How oh, my passion! But there's one more thing. I can drag and drop the file into the sampler track. How oh, my passion! How oh, my passion! How oh, my passion! But now the tempo changes too. I can deactivate this by activating audio warp. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! Oh my passion! Oh my passion! And there's one great thing in here. I can activate legato. Now when I press the new key, the sample starts from the beginning. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! But when I use legato, It continues the playing. So let's move on to time stretching. I can do the time stretching in the sampler track too. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! Oh my passion! I can use offline effects. Oh my passion! Oh, my passion! But the easiest way is to use this little hidden feature, Sizing Applies Time Stretch. And you can use it by pressing the key one more often. And now take the right corner and stretch it. I've activated this function, the snap. So let's deactivate it. Passion. Oh, my passion. And in here, I can change the air rhythm to. Oh, my passion. And here we got one great thing tape. Oh, my passion. 
Oh my passion! You can see, as much longer I stretch it, it gets deeper and deeper. So don't be surprised when you change the pitch. Oh my passion! Oh my passion! And now choose the tape one. Oh my passion! That nothing changes. Oh my passion! Because this algorithm depends on the length of the file. At one of the next videos, I'll show you how to work with the tape algorithm. The cool thing is that the time stretching and pitch shifting is always based on the original material. So when I play the file four times faster and get back to the original length, I got the original sound. But when I do this with online processes, I got a really different result. So that's a great effect, but doesn't sound realistic. You can see that you've done time stretching at this little symbol. When you get online time stretching at several tracks at the same time, it can take a lot of CPU power. So here's the trick. Select this channel, go to track versions, duplicate the version. This one is the online one. The next one, offline. And here you can see that I've done the time stretching. Go to this part, right click, audio, and bounce to selection. And now we got the same result, but it doesn't take any CPU power. That's all. I hope I could help you. Please leave a comment whether you got some questions more. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so you won't miss any episodes. See you in the next time.